Today's Bible study is titled Pass the Bacon. There has been a move towards plant-based meat. Of course, some religious denominations have taken positions against the eating of certain meats for many years, based on prohibitions of same in the Old Testament law. If avoidance of certain meats is your desire, that certainly is your right. But what does the scripture, rightly divided, say in this regard? The Spirit inspired Paul, writing to his son in the faith Timothy, to provide the following instruction. Now the Spirit speaks expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. 1 Timothy 4 verses 1 to 5 Let's look more closely at Paul's instruction to Timothy and us in these verses. Odd that commanding to abstain from the meat of certain creatures would be grouped in such a list, from the demonic to faith departure to hypocrisy and even marital prohibition. And the student of the word would ask why? As some of these things sound very serious compared to religious restrictions regarding diet, the key lies in recognizing that all these things are signs of a departure from the faith in latter times, whether due to legalistic controls or the influence of our enemy. Speaking directly to the dietary prohibition aspect, Paul gives insight that goes well beyond such to a principle that needs to be understood by believers. For when religious restriction of certain meats would say thou shalt not, Paul instead instructs that every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. And further, regarding meat from such prohibited creature, Paul continues that these are sanctified by the word of God and prayer. So pass the bacon, fry me some more catfish, and let's have a crawfish boil. Praise God for our liberty and Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians 5 verse 1 Believer, receive God's provision in thanksgiving. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.